Welcome to Mother Gooseland in Canton, Ohio, built in 1956 for, oh, I don't know what reason, but when it comes to abandoned theme parks, there's not a lot here, but what remains is freaky AF. This place is weird. This is like Five Nights at Freddy's meets, well, Mother Goose Land in Canton, Ohio. This is, without a doubt, one of the creepiest amusement parks I have ever seen. The idea that this was designed for children is completely frightening. This looks like something you'd have on a bad trip. If you think that whale is frightening, wait till we see the real one. Three blind mice. Somehow when I see these guys, I think of the song played slightly too slow in a minor key, like Tim Burton-esque. So this is a abandoned, obviously, theme park that opened in the early 1950s here in Canton, Ohio along the, the Michelin River. It was designed as a place for families to go. They had fishing and swimming. And the amazing Willie the Whale, which is one of the very few parts of the original park that still exists today. And you can walk in him. Here's some musical tubes. Let's see if they work. Oh, that's not pleasant at all. And in the middle of a large open field appears to be the remnants of a xylophone. Luckily for us, it looks like someone left a uh, bottle for us to use as a as an instrument uh, mallet. This will be great. Not great. Now as we walk along, what parent would be proud to have their children play here? by the Canton City Sewers. Pride of Canton, Ohio. Maybe once upon a time. And here is the internationally famous Willie the Whale, built in 1956 and still in his original location, the famed favorite habitat of concrete whales, the stagnant lagoon. Concrete whales can often be found in stagnant lagoons where they frolic happily for a very long time. But you can go in him. You could also go in the lagoon, but I would not recommend that. Willie the Whale. And I'm in. Oh, listen to the echo. I hope you can hear it on the camera. It's super fun. Here we go. Well, now I know how Jonah felt being swallowed by that whale. It's even completely authentically whale colored inside, which is to say the color of the inside of a whale. 
at least what I assume the inside of a whale would be. I've never been in one, but in cartoons it's always that same Pepto-Bismol pink and that's what they went with. So I think they know what they're talking about. This is Mother Goose Land. This is not a bunch of amateurs. So Willie the Whale, everybody. Big thumbs up for him. Okay, so the last part is located in this dog park with its double airlock entry system. We are dog free today, so it's okay. Notice the hydrants placed around for the dog's enjoyment and a tree. But the most important part, Willie's friend. I love him. I don't know his name, but he is beautiful. Look at that face. Who doesn't love that face? I love that face. Hello there. Hello. You're not in the dog park. Well, and here we are at the end of Mother Goose Land, or possibly the beginning, with... I don't know what that is. It's creepy as heck, I'll tell you that. If the clouds don't give you nightmares, the eyes will. Oh, great. Here come, yeah, birds. That just adds to the ambiance, really, at this point. This is the old park office. And inside this castle building, which is bricked up, of course, was the old ticket booth. So this would have been your way in. You would be welcomed by the... Oh, God! Tower of the Nightmarish Hell Sun. I just don't have words for that. This is the sort of thing that you see when you die if you've been very bad. Very, very bad. But it's also the entrance to the kitty park, so take your kids. There's a picnic pavilion. Gotta wonder why this place closed. It had everything you could want. A whale. Weird art. And the world's creepiest tower. Come to Mother Gooseland, where the hills have eyes.